Oh my god, dude. Okay, well, I'm back, obviously, with another story about some shit that you guys should not be doing. And I don't like making these videos at all. Just like I said in the last video about drugs, I don't want to make this channel, like, just about drugs. I actually don't like making these videos, but you guys honestly fisted the support on the last video about Molly. Just completely destroyed the likes. Like, it got over fucking 10,000 likes. That's competing with YouTubers that have over, like, 2 million subscribers, dude. It was fucking insane. Insane. The reptilian army, man. Holy shit. So I felt like I had to make a follow-up to the Molly video. You guys just enjoyed it way too much for me not to. And uh, here it is. So this is the story of the first time I tried the devil's grass. Or weed for just normal people. So in my Molly video, I didn't really give that much backstory because it really wasn't needed. But for this one, I'm actually going to be focusing more on the backstory because for me, dude, I'm not a fucking druggie. I don't sit there and do crack all day. I don't, you're not going to see the crack experience by Leafy. You're not going to see the fucking heroin trip by Leafy. You're not going to see LSD on fucking, you know, sex with LSD with Leafy. Not fucking any of this shit, okay? You're not going to see it. So for me, you know starting off with this drug because this is the first real drug i ever you know fucking did it was a big deal to me so i'm gonna go through my thought process and to my younger viewers that are around like maybe high school or around there um maybe you guys can take something from this but without further ado this is the weed experience or the devil's grass it's up to you. There once was a little boy and his name was Calvin. Now Calvin was always just naturally a very curious boy. Not in a homosexual way. But Calvin was a very curious boy. And at the point in time of Calvin getting into middle school, he heard that a lot of kids had been smoking a fucking drug. Okay? And this drug was very popular in the rap songs. And it was also very popular with a lot of older kids. And in, like, movies and shit. But a lot of people was smoking weed. Or at least that's what people at this school said in the fucking 8th grade. Now, in the 8th grade, I want to give a little bit of backstory. I hope that it won't take up too much time. But um, I was at a really weird spot because previously, before the 8th grade, my dad was on a ton of fucking different drugs. And I'm not talking about fucking Molly or fucking weed or some minor shit. He was on some serious shit, right? And he just recently got off those drugs. So my, my fucking family life was transitioning. Um, at school, my friends I hung out with were all transitioning. It, that sounds so so fucking weird saying that but uh, all my friends were getting into different stuff or the people that i used to think of friends were getting into hardcore sports and motherfucker i just played little league baseball you know you just go there and hit the ball and go home like it's not competitive at all and all those some of the other kids that i used to knew and talked to were getting into hardcore sports and shit so i was trying to find myself a little fucking calvin was trying to find himself and uh, at the same time a lot of people were doing the drug known as the devil's grass or fucking weed <laughs> through all this uh changing of uh different friendships and shit um i stopped hanging out with some of the people i used to talk to in elementary school and i started talking to a few new kids you know i, I for the first time in my life i kind of left my comfort zone and started hanging out with you know different fucking people and through all these different types of people i met this one well not this one but this group of people right and uh they were pretty much fucking uh, kind of bad kids, okay? And I don't even know why I'm calling them bad kids because I was a bad kid too. I don't. What am I talking about, okay? So, anyways, I meet these. They meet these kids, and um, in the beginning, I just think they're a little bit badasses, right? But one day, we're just sitting at the lunch table, and he just blatantly fucking says, "Yo, yesterday I was high as fucking ass," and I was just sitting there, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I've heard so much about this in like the movies and like rap songs, and all this shit. And now he's right here talking about how you got fucking high. Holy fuck. And uh, I don't want to say I was curious, but dude, I was curious. I wanted to try this shit. So I'm pretty curious and I want to try this weed out. And to make the story go a little bit faster, a few months go by and we all end up hanging out, okay? We're at his house and he says, you guys want to fucking get high? And everybody's like, yeah, dude, sure. Why not? So he pulls out this bag of weed that, okay, so it's been, it's been like a long time 
since he pulled out that bag of weed. It's been like eight years at least, right? And no, looking back on how much weed he pulled out, it was a little bit fucking scary. He literally pulled out at least like fucking, judging from what I remember, fucking $400 worth of weed. Now, how did they get it? I have no idea. I have no idea. But he pulls out a bag that's like worth $400, and I didn't know how much it was worth, but that's fucking retarded. But he pulls it out, just throws it on the table. I actually remember something about his brother being a drug dealer or something. I can't really remember, but after he pulls out this bag of weed, he pulls out this crazy big bong. And, again, looking back, I don't know, like, what the fuck, dude? This kid had a crazy setup. And this kid was only, like, what, 14? Like, what? But, uh, anyways, he pulls out all this stuff, and we we take a few hits. I want to say it took, like, three to four hits, and it doesn't hit me at all. I just, I, I felt nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just felt the exact same and that's pretty much the night nothing fucking happened after that we all just sat there and laughed and watched videos and shit and that's it listen to some good music but uh, i know that's not what you guys wanted so a few months down the road i end up getting some weed from one of my friends right and I end up smoking it at the house. Now, to everyone that hasn't smoked weed, I'm going to give you guys what actually goes down. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I know some of the fucking weed fanatics are going to get mad, but it's the honest truth for me anyways. Weed is extremely overrated. Just extremely overrated. I haven't smoked in a long time, and that's not because I can't get weed. It's not because I, I couldn't. I, I don't have the money for it. Weed is, I just don't fucking enjoy it. I really don't like smoking. And I feel like for some people that's like hard to believe. Like, how can you not like fucking Bob Marley's favorite drug? And it's like, dude, I just don't like weed at all. And for people that haven't smoked, this is exactly what goes down. Or at least for me. Okay, so you smoke the weed, and what goes down is one of two things. You smoke the weed, and in the beginning, regardless, you feel good for like 30 minutes, right? After that, you either don't talk at all, and you're just completely silent, and you're just kind of fucking dead, right? I guess you feel okay, and you feel a little bit warm, and you're really hungry, but you're just, you're just, you're done, right? And then two, you just fucking sleep. That's it. And you sleep for like six hours, you wake up and you're good. And either one, I fucking hate it. Now, I like drinking, I'll say that. And I do like fucking like Molly and shit. That was fun. But weed sucks, dude. Like, I, I don't like weed at all. And I know for some people, they love weed. Some people will say, weed's the only reason I don't kill myself. And if it's true, good for you, dude. But for me, I don't fucking like weed. Last time I smoked was like, like I want to say two years ago at least. Maybe a little bit less, but still, like, I, I don't like weed at all, but regardless, I smoke the weed, I'm feeling good for that 30 minutes, and I walk upstairs, and I just kind of start walking around looking for food, and I get some food, but I don't take it downstairs, and I start walking around and shit, right? Now, let me mention that my house was not that fucking big, so I'm walking around in circles, and my brother's up there, and he's just sitting there staring at me, and I just fucking did circles for like 30 minutes, that's it. Okay, maybe it wasn't like 30 minutes, it was more like 5 minutes, but it felt much longer, and uh, spoiler alert, I end up getting caught like a month later, so that did not go that well. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, um, you guys have just been giving me so much support on uh, these videos recently, it's been great. And uh, tell me if you guys want another one of these fucking drug stories. I only got a few more left. I mean, I'm not a fucking druggie. And uh, with weed overall, I don't even smoke anymore. I don't even like it. But, um, yeah, I just felt like you guys might enjoy this story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace, peace.